We wheel them and we turn them and we rock them and we sound them and we temper them and laugh the rhythm sweet. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to the Rhythm Suite. I'm your host Felicia Rene and today we'll be touring the best spots in Ocho Rios. Welcome back guys, we're sitting here with Greg Connell yeah. who is the founder of Reggae Tours. So yeah. tell us about Reggae Tours. Reggae Tours is the premier transportation company here in Jamaica. We pride ourselves on offering an exclusive private transportation services to our visitors and locals alike. It started when I was at the airport and we would see the long lines as guests wait on other guests to board the bus. It was then that I got, got the idea to provide an exclusive private transfer to clients who are arriving at the airport. What makes reggae tours stand out above the rest? So what makes us stand out firstly is we offer a private service. You don't have to come to the airport and wait on anyone else. Once you clear immigration and customs, you meet our representative because we are located directly inside the airport and you meet our representative on arrival, you're escorted immediately to your weight in transport. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? That's it, awesome. Yeah, man. So, so within minutes, you're on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> so the tours I recognize, because today we'll be going to many different spots in Ocho Rios, right? Yes. Why did you choose Ocho Rios, first of all? Ocho Rios is perhaps the only place in Jamaica that you have so many activities, mm. you know, and a different variety of activities for locals and tourists alike. Of course, we have the island Gully Falls, which offers the, the, the blue hole experience where you can go and jump in the clear river water. These areas are untouched, they are undeveloped, they are not commercialized. Now, of course, we have um, Mystic Mountain, which features the bobsled. You know, of course, you, you know the movie, um, mm -hmm. Cool Running. Mm -hmm. So we have our famous bobsled ride right here in Ocherus. We have river tubing, we have horseback riding, you name it. We have it right here in Ocherus. What would you say is your motivation for opening or starting the reggae tours? I've always been in tourism. I think the motivation comes from being able to meet people. Be almost like a world citizen without actually leaving Jamaica. You know, and I think that's awesome because you get to meet different people of different countries and while talking to them, they tell you about how they live, you know, what they eat, what they do. They tell you about their children your school system and then they ask you about yours in trying to compare the two. I've been so fortunate that I've met persons from all over the world. It's almost like a gift given to, to just meet people and just to learn about them and make friends, lifetime friends. I have to really big up my team, mm -hmm. you know. I sometimes get the question, that, where you get them your people you're from? Right, right. You know, where you find them mm -hmm. from? If I may pat myself on the shoulder, you know, you see me, so people have been attracted to me, people have to come to me, what <laughs> you mean? You know? <laughs> Reggae Tours have been blessed with a wonderful staff. We are just blessed with people who have the same passion that I do, of meeting people, want to just show off Mm -hmm. their country that love Jamaica. Mm -hmm. What I noticed this morning, even driving with Glenn, it wasn't just a yes man and no we're driving through, it was a history lesson yes. even, you know. Yes. Do you teach your drivers what to say or is it something that comes naturally? You have to teach them what to say. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, it is something that comes naturally mm -hmm. to them. Each driver will give you a different experience. So you may find a driver that grew up in the country so he knows the different bushes, the different plants that you can use for, for the different ailments and so forth. One driver may not be able to, to actually tell you about the plant, but another will. Then, then you have another driver who his favorite um, thing is sports. Mm -hmm. You know, so he tell about the Manchester United and he tell you about the Chicago Red Bulls and y you know, then you met someone who is maybe a fan of Manchester, a fan of Chelsea and, and there you go. Right. You know, it comes natural, but also in our in our meeting, in our our, our training sessions, we emphasize the fact that do your research. Mm -hmm. You know, keep abreast of of what's going on, and so you can be able to interact with your guests even more and be more informed. So we're at Scotch's restaurant now. Why did you choose Scotch's? Man, Scotch's. There's no trip to Ochoa. It's complete without coming to Scotch's. Why? Um, Jamaica is famous for, for jerk chicken. It all started in Portland from the Arawak days where they would catch the wild boar and jerk it. The taste that we have here for the jerk chicken at Scotch's is the best in Jamaica. And not only do you get the jerk chicken, you get the jerk pork, which mm -hmm. is awesome and I can guarantee you, you can't find it anywhere as delicious 
on the island <laughs> at Godship. I'm telling you that. So then how would you say that your Jamaican roots have influenced reggae tours? Oh, most definitely. We grew up in, in Spanish town. My father was actually a fisherman. Though we didn't have much, we were, we were a closely knit family. That's part of reggae tours. We are a closely knit family. And because of my roots, that influences reggae tours in terms of the staff. I think my upbringing, closely with my family, we are doing the same thing with reggae tours and making everybody happy. Whatever comes into reggae tours, it goes back to the staff and they are happy and they ended up transferring that sort of happiness over to, to our customers. So yeah. then when people come and they experience reggae tours, what do you mm -hmm. want them to walk away with? I really want them to walk away with, with something from Jamaica, something that is authentic whether it's, it's it's the driver his personality whether it's an experience of maybe going to Don River Falls or Island Gully Falls and just experience the beauty or whether to come here and just go on the bobsled or even to scotch it here and eat a delicious jerk chicken meal so those are the things I want them to experience and take away with them I mean Why? they want to come back come back to jerk reggae chicken. tours or come back to Jamaica Come back to regulators because we are going to help them to experience some little tidbits of Jamaica. There are many other transportation companies that are doing the same thing as regulators, mm -hmm. but we are special. Our team just make it special for you to want to come back. Believe you me. Why do you love your job? Some things just, just come upon you. I've been in tourism, you know, all my life. To know that you're doing something that you love, that can provide for you and your family. And also to make it a success. Because when I really started um, reggae tours, I, I borrowed my wife's car. I did not have a vehicle of my own. When I got a call saying, you can't care some people that watch it for me. The person knows my personality, knows that I'm a jovial person and think that if you just carry people for them, then can't do it. I borrowed the car and now our fleet is almost 20 vehicles since we started in 2008. I love it because where we are coming from and how the, the growth of it and what is it's doing for our staff. The satisfaction I get, Rene, is, you know, the other day we have a number of our drivers went to the U.S. Embassy and get their visa for the first time. And they were able to travel to the States and meet customers that they met here in Jamaica with reggae tours. And they came back with an awesome experience and could not, you know, thank the company enough for just providing that outlet. Who wouldn't love that? Yeah. You know what I mean? Who really wouldn't love that? Something that you really started out as just a help somebody mm -hmm. and grow that into a business and, and see people who are benefiting from it. We have our staff that actually owns vehicle in reggae tours. Because of the tremendous the amount of business that we do, we have to hire vehicles from outside the company. And so I opened the company to our staff to say you can actually um, and we will help you in the best way we can to acquire a vehicle. Mm -hmm. So not only are we paying you a salary, we are also writing a check for you at the end of the month. Who could love that? That's wonderful. You tell me. So what's next for your tours? Is expansion in the, in the future? I'm, I'm glad you asked that, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, really, I'm really happy you asked that. What's next for your tours? We want to go high-end because based on our research, there's a part of the, the, the industry, the tourism industry, that, that really want ultimate luxury. They want SUVs and they want limousines and we are not there yet. So, so that's the next frontier for us, where we want to have, among all the vehicles that we have now, and we, as you can, you saw the vehicle that, that you know, it, 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 it's, it's luxury, nice, yeah. but it's not luxury enough for, for a niche market nice. that want the, the, the high end, and, and that's where we are going to go. In doing so, we are going to be contributing more to our community, because we employ um, persons from the local community, so that the income, the return that regulators get, goes back into the community and help those who are in the community. Because we are a local community-based organization, you know, and we are not going to go corporate. We're going to stay in the community, we're going to have our offices in the community, we're going to continue to employ persons that are within the community so we can give back to the community. This is Greg Connell, founder of Reggae Tours, Andy Redim, sweet man! <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs>